All right, in this video, we're going to talk about actually how to change characters and add new characters. So I mentioned that most objects or anything in, in Scratch is referred to as a sprite. And down here in the bottom left corner, we have our sprite menu. Now, by default, whenever you start a new program, you're going to get the cat, and it's going to be called Sprite 1. Now, if I click on any of these new sprite buttons, the first one being the Scratch library, the second allowing me to hand draw one, the third allowing me to upload one from an image, and then the fourth allowing me to take one with my webcam, it will actually add a new character. Now the Scratch library is actually quite extensive. So you can scroll through, and there's also categories on the side here if I was looking for animals, so I was looking for people, and all of these characters have no background, meaning that you can kind of stack them on top of one another without having like a white box around the character, and many of them actually have what's called costumes, which I'll get to in a later video. Now, if let's say, for example, I wanted to add a dog to kind of torment my cat here, I could go ahead and I can grab now a second character. And let's use the grow tool to make the dog a little bit bigger than the cat. And I'll actually make my cat a little bit smaller. And now that I have two characters, notice that each time I click on one, it changes which one's highlighted. Now, each set of characters or sprites, you should say, in your program has its own set of code. So let's say, for example, I wanted my cat to move forward 10 steps every time the green flag was clicked. When I go to my dog, that code's not there. That's because I can write separate programs. So if I wanted my dog to move forward only eight steps every time the green flag was clicked. Now, every time I hit the green flag, the cat's actually going to be moving away from the dog. And of course, I can drag them back in place here. Overall, again, if you wanted to go ahead and paint a new character from scratch, I can just go ahead and hit the, uh, the second icon there and draw, say, I don't know, flames or something. And this will actually allow me to import my own custom character. I can use the, the bucket oops, to fill this. And now I have this custom character that I just hand drew. And like I said, you can also upload characters. So if I go to my desktop, let's say, I don't, I don't know, the one of me dressed up as Iron Man here, I can put this character into my program and actually write code based on this character. If you want to remove a character, you can either right click on the character, hit delete. You can right click on the character in the menu down here and hit delete, or you can use the scissors tool to actually cut it out of your program.